here from Discovery Island, Poway, and I have a very, very fun and musical video for you today. So, one of our Spanish words this month in May is maracas. Can you say maracas with me? Maracas, remember I told you they're a musical instrument. They hold the handle and you shake, 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 shake to make music. Well, last night I made my own maraca. Listen. Well, usually you need two maracas, one for each hand. So I still need to make another one. So I'm going to show you how I made it. So I used a paper paper roll towel or a paper towel roll, <laughs> paper towel roll. So see how it's all empty? I cut it in half to make two. Or you can use just toilet paper since they're smaller. But I used a big one so I can cut it in half and make two. So what I did was I glued one side of it. And then I placed my popsicle stick right over it and I glued it. This is going to take time, friends. You need to be very patient and let it dry overnight or for a few hours. So once it's dry right here on this side, then you put your noisemaker inside. I used rice. Rice, see? Even in the container. You can make music but it'll spill everywhere. So that's why we put it inside. You have to glue it, pour it inside. You can also use beans or pasta, depending on what you use, is the sound that it's going to make. And then once the rice is all in there, you glue the other side. You glue it, or you could use staples. You can have mommy use staples, but you have to be very careful. If you use beans, then you can use staples because it'll, it'll stay in there. But I use glue because rice is so little that it'll just come right out. So, again, you have to be very, very patient and let it dry. And then, once it's all dry, you'll have your maraca. So I'm going to finish this one later. And then maybe I'll bring it tomorrow during circle time so we can make music. So if you make some too, bring them along so we can make some wonderful music. Then I thought we would do another instrument. I love drums, but I didn't have one. So yesterday for my dinner, I was using green beans, and I had this can left over. I said, hmm, what can I make with this? And I thought, oh, I can make a drum. See, I use my pom-pom, and I can already make some noise, some music, by hitting this end. But I figured... Let's try and make a drum sound. So a drum is usually something that is hollow inside. There's nothing inside here. So I, I use the can opener and I cut one side of the can. Now, your mommy and daddy are going to have to help you make this one because the can is very, very sharp. And we don't want to hurt our little fingers. So once your mommy and daddy help you make it, you'll be able to enjoy it by make, making the music. Okay, so what I did was I cut one side of the can opener and then I used a balloon. <gasps> Look, the balloon. There's my balloon, but I just cut it. I cut this long piece. I don't need it. So I cut it and then I'm going to stretch it. I'm going to stretch it over this opening. Ready? Stretch it. Whoa. There we go. There it is. But now... I'm going to reinforce it by putting a rubber band so it doesn't come off, off that easily. Stretch it so it stays on there. Now, let's see what it sounds like. Let's see if it sounds like a drum. Ready? It's a drum! Now you have two sounds. Listen. We have drums and a maraca. Now, this one's my favorite. This one is a xylophone. We're going to use glasses. Be very careful with this, friends, because remember, glass breaks very easily and it can hurt us. But with your mommy by your side, we can make a xylophone. You're going to need 
the same type of glass, the same size, the same type, so it'll work, okay? I only had three, but I brought two other ones along with me so I can show you the different sounds. So I also brought a fork so we can listen. These don't have water yet, listen. They sound the same, don't they? But if we add water, let's see what happens. Can we add almost to the top? Okay, a little bit more. Okay, let's see if that changes the sound. Ready? It does change the sound. Listen again. So these two don't have water, so they sound the same. Listen. The same. But now this one sounds different. Okay, so this one's filled all the way to the top. And this one, we're going to fill it maybe halfway. There we go. Let's see how that sounds now. it sounds different. Now let's put a little bit of water in this one. Just a tiny bit. There we go. Let's put a little bit more in this one. And fill this one all the way to the top. Let's see what that sounds like now. See? So the less water it has, the higher the note. The more water it has, the lower because there's not enough room in there to make that sound. See? Very cool. Now you can even make it pretty by adding color, food coloring. So let's add yellow to this one. Let's make it yellow. And then let's do red for this one. And let's make this one blue. Okay, let me mix it up. There's our blue. There's our red. And there's our yellow. Blue, red, yellow. Now let's listen to the sound. do it gently so that we don't break our glass. Let me put it a little bit lower so you can see. Very cool. Now, like I said, if you had more glasses, then you can make an entire xylophone. Miss Denise didn't have any, but I also have these right here. Look, this one already has water. This one doesn't have water. Let's hear the sounds of these. One with water and one without. But if we put a little bit of water in this one, let's see if it changes the sound. instruments at your house and remember be very careful and have your mommy help you okay and if you make your maracas bring them to circle time tomorrow all right my friends i'll see you later thank you for making music with me bye